Alright, so I have gone ahead and redone my studio as we enter through my um, little doorway of totes here. You can see that this area has become my lapidary spot. I've gone ahead and moved all my stuff out here. Um, I have, you know, rocks stored underneath and these are painting rocks and I've got my slab machine back there. Um, it's not completely the way I want it to be, but it's getting pretty close. I got all my different tools and stuff up here within easy reach. And then behind me, I've got um, supplies and all my rocks. All labeled and organized and then if you step in here if you remember that really small room where I would not have room to do much of anything this is now my clean room and it's where I do my artwork so I've got um, totes full of all my supplies plus this dresser I painted um, full of supplies and this everything got a paint job when I moved everything around I've now got room to move my chair <laughs> my painting supplies and then this is where I sit and paint so I paint rocks I have a, a group called Utah Rocks and these are what I hide. Um, working on a monthly list now. This one is one of my favorites. It's a sunset rock. I did this with all markers. So everything's in easy reach right here that I use. And all my paints and my markers and my pens and then down below here I have another little table with storage items on top of it and then I have more rocks underneath here but these are painting rocks and then I have a file cabinet that I keep all my paper product in so pretty nice little setup I have I enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back with a new video soon about making um, a rock wind chime. So, thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe and keep on rocking.